it's Liz here. Um, I just thought I would let you know my experience of coming to the new Royal Petworth. Um, now it's moved. Um, I was at their old one for uh, probably about four years, I think, um, and wasn't 100% sure that I'd be back, um, but I am. <laughs> So um, this is the new one that's on the biomedical campus, um, which is next to um, Adbrooks. Um, it is not, you can't miss it basically, <laughs> it's a huge building. Um, I'm currently sitting outside because it's nice weather um, and it's good lighting too. Um, it's got this really pretty behind me, these uh, frosted windows. And this is the um, part I'm sitting in is um, at the back where it says bus stops, but um, because I was originally planning to get park and ride and get the guided busway here, it said the route A comes directly here and only takes five minutes and it's free uh, to park. And if you're disabled or over 65 and you've got a bus pass, you can use it for free. And I think if you pay, it's very, very cheap. It's not much at all. Certainly cheaper than parking. Um, although if you do have a outpatient appointment, um, if you show your letter when you go to pay for your parking um, at the like customer service desk there, um, you pay three pound sixty or three pound eighty for the whole day, so it's cheaper. Um, I um, am going to check in soon, but the um, I wanted to look around first. Um, it's huge inside, but um, outside there. I don't know if it's because it's still quite new, but there's no signs to anything. I came out of car park two, which is where I've parked today because I was wanting to make sure I found the place. Um, there was no signs to the hospital main entrance at all, and I just followed everybody else and luckily was right, but it really should be better sign posted. Um, my only other grumble is that the restaurant, um, I went to look to, because I needed some lunch anyway, um, the restaurant is a lot smaller than the old one at the old Petworth. Um, there's certainly a lot of choice, there's vegan and vegetarian and allergy free options but it's tiny and honestly in my chair, um, my wheelchair, there isn't a lot of room for movement, especially if you just want a sandwich from the Costa part, which is in the same part of the restaurant, which I think is a bit of a bad design because you can only get two or three people in the queue and then it's queuing out the door. Um, there's a WH Smith which has got sandwiches and snacks and drinks, magazines, all that, but it's also got a small section for shop stuff for people in hospital, so like socks, pants, the things that you might need if you're in hospital. It's a very small section, but it's certainly better than nothing because there used to be no shop in the old Packworth. So, um, also, um, I'm not sure, but I'll show you where I am now because I'm assuming this is where the bus stops will be, but I don't think they're here. Well, they're not definitely not active at the moment. I've been sitting here 15 minutes and there's been no buses, but I have seen the guided bus come over the bridge and go another way um, which is where the short stay car park is. Now, there is a short stay if you're only here 30 minutes or dropping someone off picking someone up but also there are only four disabled spaces that are free at the front of the hospital and I dread to think you'd have to arrive here at like five in the morning to get one of those so the best option is the guided busway from Trumpington park and ride. But this is where I am. Despite being by um, the biomedical campus which is still quite new um, it is very quiet, they've got gardens and uh, places to sit. Um, the bus stops that are over there, people have been sitting at but there's been no buses. And there's like, it's all pedestrianised but there is a road that's just up that way. I don't know if I can see. But there's a sign blocking it at the moment. Um, and the buses are going down here where that orange tent is. Um, they're going down that road, so um, I don't know. I'm going to ask when I go in, but there's oh, there's just one now. <laughs> um, but yeah, this road definitely isn't in use because there's a sign blocking it coming this way and going the other way. There is no. I'm just not really sure. Like I say, there's not a lot of signs anywhere, but I'll let you know my experience of the outpatient clinic. I'm having an ultrasound on my heart today to check to see what's going on because it's been playing up um but 
yeah, so far so good. Um, I'll report back. Um, I have to say it's the best hospital I've ever been to, ever. Um, I know it's new, but um, it was like the small things um, with the signs outside, inside. For me, I couldn't find any bins at all for any of my rubbish. And actually, um, I asked the receptionist who is lovely and she probably gets millions of people asked. But the bins are actually inside by the where there's lots of water coolers. I think what it doesn't make clear is that you check in using the computerised screen things. They're all dotted around the big open, like, air, like main entrance bit, um, where there's a reception desk and there's that's where all the restaurant and the shop is. Um, and uh, yeah, there's loads of seats and stuff for people to wait for there. But um, I was waiting there and they do have screens everywhere that flash up for every single outpatient clinic is in the same area whereas in the old Patworth it was dotted different buildings but these are all in obviously one building which is amazing um, and basically I didn't realise I was waiting in the main bit I didn't realise it was a separate outpatient waiting area um, which it doesn't really tell you very clearly when you check in um, but you go where it says outpatients and then there's a whole other area um, where there's another reception um and there's a like a uh like desks kind of thing with uh, power points in so if you want to plug your laptop in um there's free wi-fi in the whole hospital super fast wi-fi which is a bonus because obviously in the old one there was none and you were really lucky even to get a, a phone signal or 4g and here you've got everything um everything's like full maximum good so it's getting a bit noisy um so yeah i was really impressed and um there is a small costa in the outpatients part um it doesn't seem very uh, well stocked so um but you can still get tea and coffee and cakes and stuff um and then when your name flashes up on the screen it tells you which clinic to go to and which room and I was literally bang on time straight in found the clinic and we're straight in for the ultrasound and seriously that's the best thing that's ever happened because usually you wait ages in a hot hospital and it's nice and cool in there as well so anyone who with pots who really suffers um it's great and the people doing the ultrasound you all the doctors that I've seen and it was just so easy so I highly recommend and since in the last instalment um, the other side of the hospital apparently where it's at the moment got buses there are actually no buses stopping there um, where inside there's a signpost that says buses don't just ignore that at the moment they're all stopping outside the front of the hospital um, the guided buses and the non-guided buses as well um, so they said hopefully soon that the um, just buses only route will be opened but it's not open yet so that's why I didn't see any um, so yeah that's it really um, amazing experience hopefully I won't have to come back too often because I don't want to be that ill but if I do then I know it's a good experience and um, anyone who visits who wants to give feedback on the Hospital Genie website do so please um, the descriptions in the link below um, of what whether the website is, uh, what the address is, and um, I'd love to hear your comments if you've been to the new Patworth um, and see what you think of it as well. See you next soon. Bye. So um, I finished my ultrasound. It's very bright out here. I'm at the front entrance now. It's definitely busier now than it was when I came. Um, car park two is literally straight in front of the hospital. Um, the entrance to which is actually around the back, um, but here it is. Um, I have to say it's the best hospital I've ever been to, ever. Um, I know it's new, but um, it was like the small things um, with the signs outside, inside. For me, I couldn't find any bins at all for any of my rubbish. And actually, um, I asked the receptionist who is lovely and she probably gets millions of people asked. But the bins are actually inside by the where there's lots of water coolers. I think what it doesn't make clear is that you check in using the computerised screen things. They're all dotted around the big open, like, air, like main entrance bit. 
um, where there's a reception desk and there's that's where all the restaurant and the shop is. Um, and uh, yeah, there's loads of seats and stuff for people to wait for there. But um, I was waiting there, and they do have screens everywhere that flash up for every single outpatient clinic is in the same area. Whereas in the old Patworth, it was dotted different buildings, but these are all in obviously one building, which is amazing. Um, and basically, I didn't realise I was waiting in the main bit. I didn't realise there was a separate outpatient waiting area, um, which it doesn't really tell you very clearly when you check in. Um, but you go where it says outpatients, and then there's a whole other area um, where there's another reception, um, and there's a, like a uh, like desks kind of thing with uh, power points in. So if you want to plug your laptop in, um, there's free Wi-Fi in the whole hospital, super fast Wi-Fi, which is a bonus because obviously in the old one there was none and you were really lucky even to get um, a phone signal or 4G and here you've got everything um, everything's like full maximum good so it's getting a bit noisy um, so yeah I was really impressed and um, there is a small costa in the outpatients part um, it doesn't seem very uh, well stocked so um, but you can still get tea and coffee and cakes and stuff um, and then when your name flashes up on the screen it tells you which clinic to go to and which room and I was literally bang on time straight in found the clinic and was straight in for the ultrasound and seriously that's the best thing that's ever happened because usually you wait ages in a hot hospital and it's nice and cool in there as well so anyone who with pots who really suffers um, it's great and the people doing the ultrasound you all the doctors that I've seen and it was just so easy so I highly recommend and since in the last instalment um, the other side of the hospital apparently where it's at the moment got buses there are actually no buses stopping there um, where inside there's a sign post that says buses don't just ignore that at the moment they're all stopping outside the front of the hospital um, the guided buses and the non-guided buses as well um, so they said hopefully soon that the um, just buses only route will be opened but it's not open yet so that's why I didn't see any um, so yeah that's it really um, amazing experience hopefully I won't have to come back too often because I don't want to be that ill but if I do then I know it's a good experience and um, anyone who visits who wants to give feedback on the Hospital Genie website do so please um, the descriptions in the link below um, of what whether the website is uh, what the address is and um, I'd love to hear your comments if you've been to the new Patworth um, and see what you think of it as well see you soon bye Thank you.